Hey guys, welcome back to my Divine Timing Tarot. This reading's for you, Capricorn, for the month of July 2022. This is a separate reading. Uh, we're just going to look at who it is you're dealing with right now. Um, what what's, what's going on here? Uh, their feelings towards you, your feelings towards them. And what the outcome is going to be for you guys in love for the month of July 2022. Spirit guides, please tell me. Who is Capricorn currently dealing with in love? What are their feelings for each other? What's going on in this connection? And what will be the outcome for the month of July 2022? For my Capricorns in love. Let's take a look, guys. Who is Capricorn currently connecting with in Love Spirit Guides? The Eight of Wands in reverse. I just did a reading. If you guys um, are watching this, check out the reading I just did for you guys for the month of July. Um, this was the first card that came out. The Eight of Wands in reverse. You could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with fire in their chart. Could be their moon sign. They could have fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, I feel like whoever it is you're dealing with, you guys are in barely, like you guys are barely talking to each other. If not, somebody could be ignoring you or you could be ignoring them. But I feel like the communication, somebody is holding off communication and I feel like it's purposely here. Let's see why. Tell me about the eight of wands in reverse. Uh, we have the nine of cups, water. They could have water in their chart as well or they could their sun sign could be water. Whoever this person is, this is someone who I feel that they are your wish fulfillment. And I feel like that's their feelings towards you as well. I feel like the feelings are mutual here, but somebody is not opening up here. What is Capricorn's feelings towards this person? Yeah, we got the Six of Cups. This is someone that... Um, they bring back this these memories. You have good memories with this person. This is someone who you have love for. You have lots of strong feelings towards this person, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be an ex, but this is someone that you could have known for quite some time. They could be a friend, but they're that sort of person that they bring back these sort of nostalgia, these 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 good memories that you've had. Tell me about the Six of Cups, please. The Seven of Wands. You're trying to fight for this. You're trying to fight for something here. Fighting for their attention. Fighting uh, for things to, to move forward here. You're trying to fight through any sort of obstacles that are coming in your way between them. See, why is this all happening between Capricorn and this person, Spirit Guides? Why is this all happening? We have the five of wands in reverse. Somebody's not fighting for this. I feel like on your part, you want to fight for this person's uh, attention. Uh, but again, you're not showing that. You're not showing that. This is how you feel about them. I don't feel like you're not showing that just yet. And why this is all happening, you got the five of wands in reverse. Because the both of yous are not fighting for this. Why is the Five of Wands in reverse, Spirit Guides? Three of Swords. This, for maybe one or two of you, it could have been a third-party situation. Uh, maybe there was some sort of interference here, whether it was, you know, someone to do with, like, love-wise. But I feel like it, it's not love-wise. If it was a third party, what I'm getting is... Could have been a family member. Could have been work it could have been some other sort of outside uh interference here could have been maybe this person that you're dealing with went through through a third party situation in the past and they're still not completely over it here but regardless of the fact this is all happening because the both of yous are not fighting for this and the both of yous are stressing out over this 
Let's see what the outcome will be. What will be the outcome between Capricorn and this person on their mind uh, in 2022? We have Gemini energy and we have uh, the chariot here. There's going to be a choice here. I feel like this is a soulmate connection here. This is a very strong connection you have. There's going to be a choice here. This person could live at a distance from you as well. Clarify this chariot card. The three of pentacles. I got this almost the same cards from the last reading here. <clears throat> I feel like the both of you are going to try and work something out. They're very strong third party situation. Very strong here. Whether it happened to them in the past or whether there's some other sort of a friend, um, a family member, somebody else interfering here. And the choice I feel like it's going to come down to is can we work this out? Can we make this successful? Can we succeed in this commitment? How do we get there? Clarify the three of pentacles, please. The two of wands, same card as the last read. Check out my other reading. Somebody is going to try and come up with some sort of solution here as to how do we move forward with this in the future? How do we make this successful here? Let's get one more. Clarify the two of wands. Queen of swords. I feel like you, Capricorn, you're just trying to think more logically here in this uh, connection. But at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Cups. So, again, I feel like the feelings are very strong between the both of you. Um, and I feel like there's going to be some sort of conversation for sure. There's some sort of conversation that the both of you guys are going to have this month um, regarding as to why the both of you haven't had this new beginning in love. There's going to be a conversation for sure. Let's get an advice card for you. Advice for... Advice for Capricorn regarding this reading. Be gentle with yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself in this connection and open up your heart here. Maybe you're really stressing out um, as to why this person isn't opening up, why this person maybe takes long to get back to you. Uh, but just be gentle with yourself. And even for one or two of you, if it was a third party situation with this person seeing someone else, that per they, that person's out of the picture already. But I'm not sensing that at all. I feel like this person is someone very genuine here. And this person's afraid to get hurt. But at the end of the day, I feel like there's going to be a very heart-to-heart -heart conversation between the both of you guys this month as to moving forward here that's what i have for you guys hope this resonates with you if it does feel free to drop me a comment down below and to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys again